every woman wants to meet a guy who's fun, interesting, and gives her butterflies. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to be that guy. I'll give you four things that you can do to get any girl hooked on you within a few minutes of conversation. Sounds good, right? These four things are proven to capture women's attention and build attraction instantly. And the best part is these are extremely simple, be simple behaviors that any guy can start doing immediately. And if you do, you'll find that women are magnetically drawn to you even without trying. So pay attention and watch this video till the very end. This might be the most important video that you see today. I am Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I will give you the no BS insider information about what women really want versus what they say they want and show you proven ways to improve your success with women. So just hit that subscribe button now so that you can start learning what it actually takes to unlock the dating and sex life you desire. I've noticed that 75% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed and that is just wrong you're likely to miss out on new videos and new information if you're not subscribed. So please take a second and click that subscribe button now. All right, now that you subscribed, let's get started. Here are the four ways you can get women, women hooked on you. So number one, ditch the stoic behavior. Guys have this misconception that you have to be a stoic James Bond-like guy to be attractive. You have to show no emotion and be all out alpha male and whatnot. And that's when women will pay attention. And that is absolutely wrong. In real life, it's the more expressive guys who get the girls. I've talked about being candid and expressing yourself freely before in many videos, but I don't think that most guys really understand how powerful it is. So there's still this deep rooted belief in a lot of men that you have to be this like stone faced, unreactive guy to be taken seriously by women. And trust me, it is not true, especially now. The only time this non-reactivity or stoic demeanor is cool is when you're dealing with conflict or a high pressure situation. For example, if you're at a bar and some drunk guy starts calling you names, it's better to keep a cool head and sort things out than get aggressive. If a woman teases you or even insults you to test your confidence, it's obviously ideal to not take it seriously, keep your cool and respond calmly. But in general, there's no advantage in being Mr. Poker Face, okay? It's not attractive. The most charming guys tend to be highly expressive. When you talk to them, you don't just hear them out, you feel what they are really feeling. Their body language, their tonality, their facial expressions, all of it is committed to portraying exactly how they feel. And this type of emotionally charged conversation is what gets women hooked. It's what people, it gets people hooked. If you tend to be a guy who's more on that stoic side, someone who finds it hard to be expressive, I highly recommend you start practicing in front of a mirror and with your close friends, just being a little bit more animated. And if you want faster results, you could even try an improv class or an acting class. But either way, this is something you should definitely work on to become more magnetic and interesting. Number two, learn to hold eye contact. Eye contact is an extremely underrated attraction trigger. So there was a study done in which two opposite sex strangers were asked to gaze into each other's eyes for two minutes straight. The researchers found that just two minutes of gazing led to the strangers developing passionate feelings for each other, just looking into their eyes. In fact, one of the pairs even got married a year later, which is insane. Science says the reason eye contact is so powerful is because it produces the chemical in the brain, which is responsible for feelings of attraction. And it also produces the hormone called oxytocin, which builds feelings of love and connection. This is essentially why you'll often hear women say how they got butterflies when, they get, when the guy they were talking to looked deeply into their eyes. The effect that good eye contact can have on us is truly incredible, yet most guys fail to leverage this amazing attraction trigger. And yes, I get it. Looking directly at the girl that you find so attractive can be super intimidating, but look at the opportunity that it presents. Look at the benefits of it. If you build the habit of making and maintaining eye contact, when you talk to women, you will master one of the most powerful attraction building techniques there is. You will possess a skill which lets you tap into her brain and unleash feelings of attraction, love, 
and connection. And if I were a guy looking to improve my dating life, I would immediately add this habit to my repertoire. The only thing to keep in mind is not to overdo it. Like don't stare at her without ever looking away or blinking. <laughs> That's obviously super creepy and like super intense. You wanna break contact from time to time and then get back to it. As you get better at it, you'll find women get drawn to you quite naturally. Next, number three, use the boomerang technique. When talking to an attractive woman, most guys have two strategies. One is to tease her and be a little bit edgy in order to make her laugh. The other one is to be super kind and complimentary, hoping that it'll make her feel good, right? The problem is if you're only teasing and poking fun, you come off as a jerk or like a tryhard. And if you're only kind and only complimentary, you can come off as a boring guy who gets put into the friend zone right? You're a pleaser and an appeaser. What the world's most charming and attractive men do is that they bounce back and forth between these two modes. They go back and forth between giving kind compliments and also playful teases. This is what I call the boomerang technique. Old PUA people used to call it the push pull. I think people still call it that now. And it makes sense. Regardless of the name, it's a very effective method to build attraction. By using this technique, you make yourself unpredictable and more fun to be around. You basically get the upside of both tactics and the downside of neither. Moreover, this technique is especially effective when used on women who are used to men sucking up to them, okay? And that means pretty much any beautiful woman you'll ever come across. This little back and forth between teasing and complimenting makes you stand out in the most amazing way. The conversation automatically becomes engaging and way more fun. And as a result, women start to find you very attractive and charismatic because you're keeping them on their toes. So we're gonna move on to the last one, which is number four, and it's gradually sexualize the conversation. So if you keep talking about vanilla everyday topics, you risk falling into the friend zone because she won't see you as a sexual option. To be viewed as a sexual option to her and not just a fun, likable guy, you need to add some sexual undertones to your conversation. The mistake that guys make here is being too direct and too explicit and too sexual. Like right after they start vibing with a girl for a little bit, they'll suddenly jump to a question like, so what's your favorite position? Or make direct compliment about her boobs or something like overtly sexual like that, which makes my skin crawl, it's no good. Now, if she's really into you, I mean, she might be okay with it. But most of the time, women will turned off, be turned off by this overt sexualization. You see, we like it only when it's subtle and indirect at first. We want to slowly build up to more explicit sexual stuff. That's way more stimulating for our mind than going all the way from the start. I mean, just look at all the romantic novels that we women love to read. You're gonna notice how the author never dives into highly sexual stuff from the get-go. There's always like this undertone and a slow buildup. And that buildup is what lights up our imagination, gets us hooked and turns us on. So how do you do this in conversation is the big question. Well, you learn to use hints and innuendos. So for example, if a woman is complimenting you or teasing you, you could tell her that you know what she's up to, that you know what she's trying to do. Basically, you accuse her of trying to win you over. So you could say something like, you are so hitting on me right now, or stop hitting on me right now. It's ridiculous, it's making me very uncomfortable. Or something like, you're falling in love with me, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so another good line is, "Ah, oh, you're flirting with me, that's so cute. Or this one, stop it, I have way too many dirty thoughts in my head already. Okay, all of these sentences introduce that romantic or sexual frame into the conversation without being super direct. It's a sexual undertone. Another way to introduce that sexual frame is to steer conversations into topics like dating or relationships or some type of romantic behavior. Okay, so for example, you could ask her, what do you think is the ideal first date? You could ask her, what are your thoughts on public affection? or I'm just trying to think of ideas right now. Have you ever wondered how people keep that sexual spark alive in a long-term relationship? You could even share personal stories related to these topics of dating, relationships, and romance to get things going in that direction. Backstories just might be the smoothest way to turn the tides of conversation, but either way, I hope you get the point. You can slowly 
turn it, right? You need to inject that sexual flavor into your interaction and you need to do it in a subtle way. That will spark a woman's imagination and totally get her hooked on you. And it also opens up the conversation to sexuality. Now, of course, if you haven't had much practice sexualizing the conversation, it will not be easy for you. Any form of flirting won't come naturally to you. In fact, it will take time and effort to make it second nature, just like any other habit or skill you're trying to learn. However, I have a shortcut for you. There is a way to skip the learning curve and master flirting in a matter of days. How? By using the F formula. I've told you about this a million times, but you can know all about the F formula by clicking the link in the description box below, but I'll give you the gist of it. The F formula is a simple three-step flirting method that helps you build sexual chemistry with any woman you want. It's extremely easy to understand, and the moment you start using it in conversation, you will find women becoming more drawn to you and more with each passing second. You'll see them get turned on and excited, even a little nervous as they look at you with desire in their eyes. And the best part is this formula took over a decade to develop and has been tested on almost 10,000 real women to make sure that it's bulletproof. And moreover, thousands, thousands and thousands of my students from around the world have used it to attract, date and be with gorgeous women of their choice. And there's no reason why it can't do the same thing for you. Even if you're married, this works for you. For more information about the F formula, just click the link in the description below now. This formula is the only shortcut to attraction that I know of. It is a proven roadmap to a woman's heart and the real key to creating sexual abundance in your life, which means that if you'd like to have more options in terms of women you date, and you sleep with, you should click the link in the description below and check out the F formula. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. I really hope you found it useful. I think it's really solid advice. As always, I will see you again next week.